All right, greetings, brethren, those that may be watching. Hello. Today's study will be uh, just a quick one on the fly, but uh, using the scripture and a few verses to think about and ponder. I titled this uh, Physical Healing and Blessing. Physical Healing and Blessing. So we'll start off in Jeremiah chapter 6, 16. One verse. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. You'll have to read the whole chapter for further context. But uh, what stands out to me there is be the ungodly, saying, We will not walk therein. We're not going to go after the old ways. Interesting. Yeah. Now, brethren, chapter uh, John three, John or third John, correction, third John, verse uh, two. It says, "Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth." And definitely, the latter part of that verse, our soul, for those that are born again, regenerated. Our souls definitely prosper. We're, sit, we're sit, seated together in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. Yeah, but context. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health. That's for the emphasis of this little study, health. Now turn to the very first book in the Bible, in the very first chapter, Genesis 1. Now this is more of a just a personal study, I'll be honest with you, brother, for me. But I pray, uh, Lord will it be used for a blessing and definitely love reading the verses and sharing them. Things to consider. Genesis 1, 29 says here, And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw that he had made that, that everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Verse 29, 2. And every tree in which is the fruit of the tree, and yielding seed. I'm asking for prayer, brethren. Because uh, in the coming months, I'd like to say uh, as it is, I, I, I plan on um, selling some uh, tinctures, products that I've been using for the last number of years, um, some very good help, natural health supplements, and uh, just to have some more income and pay off my debts, which I foolishly have gotten into. And uh, Brother Brian in particular is really... Uh, talked about that and spent upon debts how it's very uh, it's very wrong it's sinful and to due to my own stupidity I have some debts uh, nothing crazy but enough that it's, uh, it's a concern and I need to work a little harder I have a job as well but on the side I'd like to do this because I think it'd be a blessing it's uh, good products things from the creation medicine from the creation and one in particular, I'm letting it uh, sit for a while. I'll show you on the camera. You can't read the label, but uh, it's a, my uh, chaga mushroom. I went out in the woods and uh, found it on the birch tree. It's a very medicinal mushroom. Right now I'm making an alcohol extract. And that's going to take a couple weeks to a month. When that's done, Lord willing, I'll get in some tincture bottles. And perchance uh, some people may be interested in buying that. It'd be good for their health as well. So, Lord willing, please pray for me, brethren. Uh, don't like to, I don't want to mess around with these studies too much, uh, adding things that aren't relevant, but I like some prayer in that regards. And uh, God's been very good. He's blessed me with understanding things that from His creation that are good for us, and uh, that's one of them. Anyways, back to the study. Mark chapter 5. You know, though, brother, like living with the Lord, it's it's a personal thing, and sometimes I share these personal stories too, brother. That are 
my real life, you know, and things that I struggle with and getting comfort from the scriptures, cleaning some insights and things and understanding. So, uh, yeah, anyways, Mark 5, verse 21 through 34, follow along. And when Jesus was passed over again by the ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and he besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. They knew, these people that were witnesses to the Lord, knew that he was very special indeed, and he could heal the sick. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. This poor lady, even back then, spending all of her money on the physicians. Uh, to me, it's just another example of we... It's hard, but you got to have faith in God for all things. Health, obviously your soul, everything. Verse 27, When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. There's a verse, and I may misquote, I hope not, uh, the life of the flesh is in the blood, I believe. And Jesus, immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude throwing thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he asked, Run about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knew what was done in her. That was instant healing came and fell down before him and told him all the truth and he said unto her daughter thy faith have made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague and she and she did Proverbs 17 one verse there I believe uh, I'm not a charismatic brethren but I believe with prayer fasting wisdom prayer is the most important that uh, the Lord will do miracles at times not always some of it's because of our own sin the wages of sin is death and uh, it accumulates I guess you could say but uh, have faith Proverbs 17 22 a merry heart doeth good like a medicine but a broken spirit drieth the bones be joyful, joyful in our salvations, in the Lord, in the goodness. And to me, trust me, brethren, it's a great joy knowing some of these things that may help. This is excellent, but it's not a panacea. The Lord is the true life and, you know, everything. But that's point being is it's great to have the wisdom to understand that there are good things out from his creation in the creation that are uh, a benefit to us to our health make us stronger keep uh, sickness and plague and things at bay now back to Genesis 1 just the uh, one verse 10 and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called he the seas and God saw that it was good now Genesis 45 we'll read from uh, 16 through 20 and again for further context you'll have to read the whole chapter but this is uh, talking about Joseph and his brethren as you know uh, Joseph was brought into Egypt and uh, God blessed him greatly could be a typology there too. 16. And the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brothers are come, and it pleased Pharaoh well and his servants. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, Say unto thy brethren, This do ye, lay your beast, and go get ye into the land of Canaan, and take your father and your household, and come unto me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt, and you shall eat of the fruit of the land. 
Now thou art commanded this do ye, take your wagons out of the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives, and bring your father and come. Also regard not your stuff, for the good of the land of Egypt is yours. Also, as we know, brethren, Egypt is a type of the world. And we can be blessed by certain things, good of the land. And uh, if you read in further context, uh, God allowed that, all that blessing to come upon Joseph and towards his brethren. So to finish off, brethren, we're going to the last verse. Uh, I read it earlier, but we're going to read it again. Third John 1 John 1-2 says here, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. That's it for the scripture reading, brethren. Now, this is just a quick study, and it's more of a personal update and talk as well at the same time. Pray that uh, I respectfully handled the Word of God there, and it's uh, very nice to share. So, point being two, brethren, please uh, keep me in prayers. That the Lord will bless me and give me the wisdom to do well with uh, some of these natural medicine things. Again, they're not cure-alls, unfortunately, but they certainly will help. I, uh, one thing that's one thing I've passion I've had for the last 10 years and I let it slide I ignored it sort of studying natural health things I used to be really into it and also brethren just a warning too I do recommend you please look into these things but just be careful there are a lot of quacks and new agey people that are um, they're not godly that's for sure they don't know their they don't know the Lord they have a different father is what I'm saying because that community, they have some things right when it comes to making your flesh stronger, healthier. But then it gets uh, subverted and it's not right. This is God's creation, even though uh, right now it's still it's under a curse. So we'll keep that in mind too. But there are things if you just pray for the wisdom. And uh, please keep me in prayers. Enough, enough of a ramble. That's it for now. I appreciate you all watching and I pray you're all well. If you need any prayers or anything, just uh, leave a little comment and I'll do my best to keep it in remembrance. Thanks again, brethren, and those that may be watching. Bye-bye.